Hi guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're going to talk about an AI video editor that you can use in Windows 11 23H2. In this video, of course, we're going to talk about the features that it has and other things that you need to know about it if you want to try it out. So the software that we're talking about in this video is called HitPaw Edmaker. It's a software created by HitPaw and it has a lot of cool features such as adding sounds, effects, stickers, filters, transitions, and more. Of course, the classic video editor functions. You also have the option to easily add subtitles with AI powered speech to text feature and you have also more AI features for example AI script generator, AI audio editor, AI text to speech and more. So let's talk about HitPaw Edmaker. Once you open the software you're gonna notice that it has a very intuitive interface, a very simple interface. We have two tabs in the left side, create video and toolbox. Inside the toolbox we have some other functions such as the screen recorder, photo enhancer, a video generator. We're not gonna talk about these in this video. We're gonna focus on the video editor and basically we can click on create a video and add after that, the main interface of the software will be opened up. Of course, it has the classic video editor layout with the timeline at the bottom, the preview in the center, the media in the left side, and the right side we have some project info and info about the files we're editing. Now let's import a file. Let's add a file here. I'm just going to go into the video section and add a file to the project and then we can just drag and drop it to the timeline. As you can see, it's pretty simple. We have both the video track and the audio track. And if you want to import videos, you have multiple options. For example, you can record videos you can add certain backgrounds from free stock websites as you can see here and when recording you have the option to record the PC screen or record a voiceover of course you also have simple options here at the top of the timeline for example split speed crop pan and zoom marker flip also speech to text I think this is pretty interesting and of course as I've said when selecting a file from your timeline you're gonna have info about it for example zoom opacity position of course stabilization background and also audio speed, animation, and color. We're going to try to edit some things here and there to try out the software. So for example, first of all, we're going to edit some parts. We're going to click on the split thing, select the file that we don't want, delete. As you can see, the video file and also the audio file because they're linked. They are just jumping at the beginning of the timeline. Also, let's delete from the end here. Click on it, then delete. And this is how easily you can cut and reorganize a video. Yeah, for example, if we want to switch these two, you can just drag them around like that. You can see we just switch them really easily. Now, as you can see in the sound section, we have certain sound effects that we can add to our video. For example, cheerful, gentle, beat, instrumental, and we can also extract audio if we want. We can drag and drop a media file and it will extract the audio for us. I think that is pretty useful. But for example, let's add a um, instrumental background. We're just going to download it and then drag and drop it to our video. As you can see, you can paste it there and we can copy it and then paste it again if we want to cover the whole video with that background. Then just go inside here, split and delete the leftovers. Now we're just going to go to the volume and put it on 20% for example, so that we don't have any issues. We're going to do that for every audio file. Basically, these are the steps that I would normally do when editing a video. I think this software is pretty simple to use. I think also a beginner can use it. Now in our video, let's add a text. For example, let's get this one and add it here. And we're going to use the text text based. Select another font, for example, alpha tab one. As you can see, we can edit the text color. We can put it around the screen. We have other options as well, such as the background, text border, zoom, and the position if we want. We also have stickers that we can apply to our video. For example, the subscribe button or something like that. Just get it and put it on your video. As you can see, it also has a nice little animation. I think it's looking pretty good. Now, we also have some transitions. So for example, we're just going to get a simple transition that we can use here. For example, the zoom one. We're just going to download it, then drag and drop it between the two videos. And when we're playing the video, we can see the transition. As you can see, the transition is pretty nice. We also have filters that we can apply to our video. For example, let's add this one. I'm just going to add it to the second video. And as you can see, it changed my color grading. We also have effects. For example, let's add a split effect. As you can see, we can download it and then apply it to our video. We can split our video into multiple parts. And we have here options on how to edit this effect. I think this is pretty useful. And finally, we have the auto subtitles, which is using AI. As I've said, we have local subtitles. Subtitles. Basically, you can import an SRT file, for example, and add your subtitles to the video or manual subtitles if you want to create your manual subtitles. But let's click on auto subtitling. It's going to start recognizing subtitles and let's see if it can place the subtitles 
decently for us using the AI. And as you can see, pretty much does a really good job. Of course, it only works on English, I think, at the moment, but it does a really good job. As you can see, my classic outro of the video with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So I think it's pretty good. It does a pretty good job. And as you can see, they added subtitles to every section of the video. I think the AI thing is doing a pretty good job and it could be pretty useful, especially for those of you who are maybe editing videos for TikTok or Instagram Reels, something like that. I know that it's important to have subtitles on those kind of videos and I think this could be very useful in that case. As I've said, you can edit the speed of the video for if you want. For example, let's edit the speed here. The subtitles will be also edited at the moment. Also, we can add certain animations to the video if we want. I'm just going to delete this end part here and then just split the final part and then we are good to go. Now, if we want to export our video, we can just go to export and here we're going to have a lot of options that we can uh, try. We have the general options where we can um, enter the name of our video, where to save it. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. The format MP4, 1080p, H264. The bitrate is, let's put it on higher if we want to have a higher quality, but of course also the size of the video will be higher and also 60 frames per second. We also have the time of the video and also the estimated period and we can also export audio if we want. Now you can also select where you want to upload the video after you've done editing it. So for example, we're just going to select YouTube, select the things yet again, 60 frames, higher bit rate, and we should be good to go. As you can see, this is the estimated size of the video. Let's rename it again and then just click on export and wait for the video to be exported. I think also the software is not using a lot of resources. It's pretty resource friendly and you can use it on a low end computer with no issues. And I think it's a great software for beginners who want to start out in this editing zone, maybe start creating shorts or something like that. It's a very, very good software that has all the needed functions for that. Now, after the exporting process is finished, I'm just going to quickly show you the end result and we'll see how it is. Now, after our video is exported, we can just click on OK, exit out from here, and also our project will be saved. And now let's see what's the end result. We have the video and I think it's looking pretty good. If you want to try out HitPaw Animator for free, you can just go in the description below and you're going to have more info there and you can have access to all of these useful functions that this AI video editor has. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.